What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. Got a mail call for you. Let's jump into it. All right, we got some new stuff here. Uh, one of my own purchase, which we'll dive into last. And then we got two coming via the pass around group. So I'm just going to go left to right and, uh, Looks like there's a scratch there. We'll check out the concept first. Lots of goodies in here. Let's get this one out and see what this is. I feel like I may have seen a budget version of this one before because it does look familiar, but this one here looks like it's with more premium materials. Let me get the box out of the way, and we are checking out the uh the prometheus actually i have the tenable version of this one so when i get to the review of the premium version of the prometheus i'll make sure and pull out the budget version that way we can take a look at both um but man this thing is silky silky smooth good detent the detent was uh dialed better on this one uh, than the version that I got from Tenable. The Tenable version was a liner lock, and I had to tune that one. But this one here is a frame lock version with a carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber side, and it looks like titanium hardware and a titanium titanium lock bar side. I don't know why I am struggling to say words today. S35EN, which Concept does a very good job on. And I love the gold anno against the all blacked out blade. Got a nice tux look to this one. You got a, I would call it a worn, no, nah, sheep's foot. Let's call it a sheep's foot blade shape. Really well done. Um, I liked the Tenable Prometheus a lot. So I'm interested to see how I will feel about a more premium variant of that one. But that is the concept tenable let's go ahead and jump into the remet this obviously you can see it's coming through the pass round uh, the box is beat to heck but i am actually really interested in this one a lot of channels have had the opportunity to check it out unfortunately not in my budget to pick one up of my own so i appreciate the fact that i can check one of these out you may recognize what it is off of the bat based off whoa all of this stuff is coming back hold on one second i have stuff falling over everywhere on the table right now i don't know what's going on but this is the updated version of the uh remet swordfish so interested to check this out i had a couple different versions of the react xo and the xom um so i am very interested in checking this one out yeah, it feels very solid. A little bit of side to side, no up and down. And absolutely, oh, you push up. Okay, got it. Absolutely solid, man. There's no jingling or jiggling, jingling, yeah, jingling happening on this one. I like the golf ball pattern on here. It's very pretty. And could go without the uh, Chinese uh, carbon fiber. I don't think they call it fat carbon. Um, and I'm not quite sure what that is, but it looks like jungle wear. At least it looks like it's the Chinese version of it. Got M390 clip point blade. Pretty good geometry too. Very good geometry actually. So I'll be interested to do a little bit of cutting with this one. I know um, there was a little bit of controversy around Remet's M390, but I know multiple channels have sent theirs off, their samples off. Um, I think they used the Peregrine Falcon, and they were confirmed to be running it 59 to 61, which I think is pretty common um, for what you see out of China for production M390. It's going to perform well, guys. You know, don't don't let that scare you too much at this price point. I would say if you were spending over 300, then yeah, you would want to demand optimal heat treat. But when you're under 300, especially under 250 in some instances. Uh, you know, I think M390 is still going to perform very well for what you're seeing in that realm of, of price. So don't don't get too discouraged by that. It's very smooth. Like this is super smooth. Four finger grip for sure. Very neutral. Um, 
I would say I wouldn't want to do any puncture task with this because, you know, it doesn't lock you in like the EXO does. The EXO has a little bit of a lip there. But for pushing and getting into packages and things that you're going to probably do with this, that's pretty cool. And uh, I love the fact that they went all titanium with just a little bit. I, I would probably just go for 12 carbon fiber there if that's even an option. I'll have to look up the options on this one when we get to that particular point. So let's go ahead and jump into the Devo next. So this one I'm actually carrying currently. So this one dropped on August 12th. Um, I'm not quite sure by the time that we get to publishing this video if it's going to be uh, available or not, but this is the tall boy and this is the black pearl version. And I'm moving some stuff around so I can bring out uh, the stickers that came with it. And it did come with a cleaning cloth, but that cleaning cloth has gone into service. <laughs> And it's already being used uh, currently on my desk, but it did come with the, I got the white one. I've gotten the blue one in the past. Um, yeah, you can see already going into service and getting used. Uh, I just decided, I was going to wash the old one, but it was kind of cut up too. Um, I just decided to toss that one. So it, it did come with the big cloth and it also had a small cloth in here. And certain versions that had colored thumb studs, they opted, which I think was really cool of them to do, in providing the satin thumb studs, just in case you didn't like it one way or the other. Um, I, I think I have the one that I was able to purchase early. They did, uh, traditional pocket knives did allow me to buy one early to get a review up and talk about it before it drops um and i paid you know full price minus my discount full disclosure for that you know no discount on that at all and then uh, jd for edc over at devonives.com will save you 10 percent as well jd 10 if there are any still in stock by the time this one goes up will save you 10 percent at traditional pocket knives and then jd for edc at blade bench if you wanted the one that had the dark mode theme without the knurling or milling on there. I like the radial pattern personally. And uh, this time I decided to go with uh, different. I had the 80s camo carbon lush. So I did want the tall boy to match that. Um, and I wanted to check out the black pearl because I missed out on that with the nip. I don't have a black pearl nip, but my hope is, you know, maybe they'll do like a growler XL in the future potentially and maybe they'll do a uh, black pearl version of that because i actually and i wish i'd have brought it upstairs it's sitting downstairs at my desk i need to go back down after this and get that but um i have the growler down at my desk and i think that's a great uh companion carry for this here because you got your utility blade blade shape here and you got a more narrow profile more what i would call gent-esque uh more discreet and then the growler is a little bit taller in the handle and it has a big belly and a clip point to it and one of my favorite knives from them and they've only ever that i have seen released to the public a uh, budget version and then i think they're doing a premium version but smaller which really the growler is the perfect size for edc i really don't think uh there needs to be a smaller one in my personal opinion but i really do like the the size on this one i very much enjoyed the 80s and it has been very consistent for detent action uh, the way that it's built and everything like that. So I've, I took this one out right away out of these that have come in. These I legitimately um, took out of the packages with you after checking them in. I did have to open the swordfish because it wasn't labeled in the box, but I was able to check in the Prometheus um, based off of the fact that it's written on the package. And then I wanted to take this one out right away disassemble it and throw the skiffs in before I started handling it and then just kind of comparing it to the other version so to be very consistent with the build quality the belt satin looks excellent I think they did a fantastic job and uh, I'm really a big fan of the uh, black pearl camo carbon I think they're calling it black pearl I think this is just black camo carbon I'm not quite sure if that's the right name I'll make sure that I figure that out before I get to um, a rapid review where I'll talk about the two of these knives together with some other knives that way you guys can kind of get a look at everything at once but mm -hmm. 
Really cool knife from Devo. Uh, Tall Boy is definitely one to check out if there's any left. Easy recommendation at the price point. S90V, uh, a multitude of options as far as camo carbon. White Mountain Knives is also JD for EDC. That one will save you 10% on the all titanium version. And then we have the Remet Swordfish that we're going to be taking a look at this week. I'm going to probably get this one into uh, the pocket and make sure I get out there and take a look at that one. And then the premium version of the Prometheus and this one has that shredded carbon fiber very pretty so you got a couple of different takes on that I will make sure I in the review I talk about the you know the feel and the difference from the tenable to this one obviously the S35EN titanium and shredded carbon fiber are going to feel a little bit more premium look a little bit more premium than micarta and 14c28n but just overall like build etc i think that's what i'll cover on but that's everything in this week it was kind of a slower week for me for new stuff i don't believe i missed anything else that came in this week at least i hope not let me know if you have any questions that you'd like answered about any of these or if you have any of them and what your experience has been with them i'd love to hear that did you pick up a tall boy what version and uh, if none of this stuff interests you, be sure to say hi down in the comment below and just let me know what you're carrying or perhaps what you got new and that you're excited about. I'd love to hear that stuff from you all. The links will be down there for you to use if you so choose. And if you did enjoy the video, a like on your way out would be greatly appreciated. Totally up to you. Uh, thanks for all the channel members out there that support this channel. You guys are amazing and I thank you for that. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic week, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.